Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Today, I am excited and honored to present this year's Marlon Perkins Award. As you can see on the screen behind me, hopefully in a second, uh, there you go. There are some very stringent guidelines to be followed when considering someone for this award. This is the AZA's highest honor. I'll read the third bullet. You can read the first two, because I think the third is probably the most important. The candidate must have made outstanding contributions to the aquarium zoo profession and its science or technology as represented by scholarly publications and presentations, institutional and association leadership, and our other tangible and measurable achievements. Over the years, we've honored great contributors to our profession with this award. Often these are retired leaders and the nominator's presentation and accompanying video provide a recap of the awardee's career for those newer folks in the audience who may not be aware of their accomplishments. Today's awardee requires no such presentation. If you work at any AZA aquarium, zoo, related facility, you're a commercial member, or you're involved with another regional zoo association, if you work with CITES, Species 360, if you've been part of the ELDP program, if you have been accredited by AZA, this awardee's high ethical standards, passion for the mission of aquariums and zoos, legal expertise, organizational skills, and the ability to get people to work together to accomplish positive achievements have, have been very, very obvious to all of you. Based on those qualifications, or those accomplishments, you probably have guessed by now, this year's Marlins Perkins Award winner is AZA's Executive Director, Chris Veers. Getting support for Chris's nomination was probably the easiest job I've ever had. I started just asking former past chairs of the AZA board, quickly got more than 20 letters, and realized I could easily get hundreds of letters, but then there'd be no surprise for all of you. In addition to the letters, we had many of you did videos, which we've condensed into just a short presentation, but I want to assure you that Chris will see all the videos that people did, in addition to all the letters that people wrote in in support. But first, this award, this awardee, uh, her contributions to our profession deserve more than just myself up on the stage. So I want to share with you, I want to have some of my colleagues come up and help me with this. First, let me introduce the former president and CEO of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, Jim Maddy. working? Yep. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, thank you for that applause. I see a lot of, uh, lot of friends that I haven't seen in a few years, and I am uh, hope to meet, get a chance to see uh, the rest of you that I haven't already spoken to uh, today. I miss you. I love you. And uh, I uh, can't wait to talk uh, further to all of you. I had uh, a rule, and I was lucky in my career. I got to do, uh, lucky or unlucky, I got to do a lot of hiring. And, uh, and I got to do a lot of coaching later in my career. People would say, how'd you build these organizations? How'd you, uh, how'd you manage this career? And I would say, well, when it comes to hiring uh, and recruiting and promoting and retaining, what you're looking for is intelligence and integrity. Well, I didn't get a chance to hire Chris Veer. She was already there uh, when I got there. But I did promote her, and I did retain her, 
she's still here. And that was all back to that first principle. Hire, recruit, promote, retain on the basis of intelligence and integrity. There's a few other things that might go on the list, but if you start with those two, you'll do, you'll do well in most cases. During the decade that we were together at ACA, uh, and I, I don't think it's too immodest of me to say this, but uh, during that decade together, Chris, this association improved its governance, it deepened its staffing, it enlarged its budget, it improved its conferences. This is a great, uh, some great evidence of that uh, right here today. But most importantly, it got even more deeply enmeshed than it had historically in wildlife conservation, resulting in SAFE and, uh, and the, some of the programs that you've heard further about today. It got much more deeply involved in national and international uh, global environmental policy and especially climate change. And there was dramatic change and improvement in the government affairs program led by my good friend Steve Olson right here in the front row. So for all of that, Chris, uh, you get the lion's share of the credit. Uh, you've earned this great honor. It's a privilege of me to add a voice to that. And just remember, hire for integrity and intelligence promote for it, and even when you find somebody who's really, really good and smarter than you and beaming and brimming over with integrity, don't be afraid to retain those people and promote those people and keep them on your team. Thank you, Chris. So now, really the exciting part is we're gonna show you a short video Chris, have your tissues ready. And Dan, if you would join us up on the stage. Uh, I will just say that you all know how busy Chris is at these conferences. So, and I know that you all will want to congratulate Chris uh, on this incredible honor. So we actually have arranged, much to her dismay, a, uh, Chris will be on display at Zoo Day. <laughs> and you will all have a chance to come over and say hello to Chris. Um, watch the AZA social media uh, for the exact time and location of her <laughs> presence at Zoo Day. Now let's see the video, thank you. Hello, my dear Chris. Hi, Hi Chris. Chris. Hi, Hi Chris. Chris. Well, hello, Chris. You've been a shining example of leadership and courage on behalf of the zoological profession for four decades. For four decades? for decades. Locally, nationally, and globally. In any major successful organization, whether it be a nonprofit or profit-making company, there always seems to be one person behind the scenes that always makes it happen. And in AZA, that is Chris Veers. Chris, you are one of the most well-known, well-respected, and well-liked people in this entire profession. Your integrity and ability to connect people and ideas has been outstanding. For me, you have been a great friend over the years. Uh, when I was at IASA, you showed me the ropes of how an executive director should run a zoo association. Dear Chris, I have been learning from you for 33 years. Your patience, your wisdom, your work ethic, your diplomacy, your knowledge and insight, and your consistency. I just want to say that I have never in my life, as well as my profession, met anyone with more integrity than Chris. So again, Chris, uh, congratulations. You're a superstar and I love you. Chris, I want to let you know how much I enjoyed our 14 years of working together at AZA. Honestly, working with you has been a professional highlight in my career. Chris, so many memories together. Elephants, cetaceans, giant pandas, on and on. So many happy memories that we've shared together. Chris has been a global colleague. She brings so much skill and passion and heart to her role at WASA. And she's always one of the first people to put her hand up in order to give us assistance and help and guidance wherever we need it. 
and you're always pushing for zoos and aquariums and their associations to be better represented at CITES meetings. And I remember joining you in that quest in Berlin at the WASA annual general meeting, where I referred to your work and I called upon zoos and aquariums and their associations to take your lead and get involved. Chris, you are always there. You're there as a professional, as a colleague, and as a friend. You're there to help us deal with crises, and you're also there to help us celebrate success. I want to thank you for always serving as the North Star to help us navigate the tricky and evolving world that is zoo and aquarium ethics. We met when I first came to AZA. It was about 22 years ago at the Albuquerque conference, and I remember watching you in meetings. And on one hand, you're leading the meeting, the person everyone in the room is looking to, and on the other hand, you're making sure that a certain director always had a supply of Diet Coke. There are few people who are truly irreplaceable, and I think our own Chris Veers is one of them. I was privileged enough to work closely with Chris during my tenure on the AZA board, and I marveled every day at her commitment, loyalty, and dedication. There certainly are many, many people who've helped make the organization what it is and our collection of members what they are. Um, but there is no single individual who has done more to put AZA into the position it is in today and, and position it for what it will be in the future. Congratulations on this recognition. It is richly deserved. Thank you for protecting and expanding our profession. I also want to thank you for helping clear the path for women leaders everywhere and of course there's quite a few female leaders of zoo associations over the years now. Thank you for clearing a path for women leaders. For, for women, women leaders. leaders. Thank you for being you. Congratulations on this prestigious honor. There is no doubt that you earned it. You are AZA. You, you are, are AZA. AZA. I'm not sure about Chris, but I was tearing up with Nancy and others up there. <laughs> anyway, Chris, it is an incredible honor for me to be part of the presentation to present you with this year's R. Merlin Perkins Award for AZA. You come in the middle. Oh, I go in the middle. <laughs> Okay, you're on. I'm on. I'm trying to breathe. I'm, I'm used to being up here in front of you all talking about and sharing honors and awards. I'm not very good at accepting them for me. And um, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you especially to Kevin Bell and for organizing everything. I am so honored to be this year's Marlon Perkins Award recipient. I've thought often about those who received the, the reward before me, the award before me. Some of my early career mentors, like Bill Conway, George Rabb, Charlie Hessel, and Ted Beatty. 
And then I think of contemporaries who've also received this award. Satch Krantz, Steve McCusker, and Jackie Ogden. It's a privilege to join their special company and come to think of it. I've been fortunate to be in their company as well as yours for 40 years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I've had a long, wonderful career working for you and with you. I've worked for four strong leaders of AZA, Bob Wagner, Sid Butler, who you saw in the video, Jim Matty, who surprised me by being here, thank you, Jim, and Dan Ash. And I've also had the privilege of working with a group of very talented colleagues and friends in the AZA office some of whom I've worked with for more than two decades. I've served with numerous AZA Board of Directors who've made courageous decisions to help move the association and our members forward. I've worked alongside accreditation commissions doing the critical foundational work of maintaining the standards of our association. And I can't even count the oodles of committee, AZA committees and members I've worked with and for throughout my career. Collectively, you all have been my teachers of AZA, or of Zoo and Aquarium 101, and perhaps I've even graduated to the advanced version after my 40 years. I'm so proud of what we've done together, how we've improved our profession, and I'm proud of the part I've played. And how lucky I am to have so many good friends sitting out in the audience today. Throughout my career, I've had non-Zoo and Aquarium friends say to me, oh golly, you travel a lot. Isn't that really lonely? And I couldn't ever relate. I knew that there would be hard work on my trips, but I also knew that with all of you, I would be sharing our passion for wildlife and wild places. I would be enjoying your company, and very likely we'd be doing something fun together. Many of you have met me in a hotel lobby at 6 a.m. somewhere in the world to walk, or in earlier times we would run, haven't done that in a few years, but we would get our exercise, we would see the local sites, and we would solve the problems of the world, and of course, the problems of AZA. I want to give a very special, heartfelt thanks to my husband, John, and my daughter, Kimberly. They were always understanding when I had yet another trip, always interested in hosting AZA folks in our home, and always encouraging me. And I'm so pleased that I'm joined here today by my husband John, my daughter Kimberly, and my son-in-law Thomas, and I would ask them to please stand and be recognized. They are my North Star. Many of you have had the privilege of watching Kimberly grow up. I was thinking about memories of her as a little girl when we used to have dances and she'd be out on the dance floor with her mom tearing up the rug. And I'm, and I'm so very proud of her. Uh, I have to brag a little bit. She's a Navy doctor and my son-in-law is a Marine pilot. And, and they, along with my husband John, are my North Star. Two important people in my life couldn't be here today, George and Charlotte Veers, my mom and dad. Many of you know that I'm an Air Force brat. My father was in the Air Force for 30 years, and as it happens, 
This is the last reunion of the 100th Bomb Squadron in New Hampshire, and that's where they are. But <laughs> George and Charlotte always take credit for my love of zoos and aquariums and for the fact that I work for you all. You may be wondering, well, how is it they take credit? They went to the Flyshacker Zoo, that's the San Francisco Zoo, on their honeymoon. <laughs> it was actually a little while later, but yeah, it wasn't long. <laughs> I sometimes wonder what I would have done had I not started working for a lobbying firm in 1979 with a client called the American Association of Zoological Parks and Aquariums, or AAZPA. I can't tell you the number of times I pinched myself to remind myself how lucky I was and how lucky I am. You are my extended family and friends. I'm going to borrow from a favorite Beach Boys song God only knows what I'd be without you. Thank you for this incredible honor.